to, I was going to say thank you, Bill King, and I will. Thank you, Bill King, yeah, for, for introducing <laughs> our guest, uh, Robbie Botox, who just played us in here. He's going to play for us uh, in just a moment. Let's see, uh, uh, let's tell folks where you're going to be uh, appearing on October 12th, next Friday, Friday night. Yeah, Friday, Friday night. night. Robbie Botas and Friends featuring Branford Marcellus, Jeff Watts, and Robert Hurst. Branford Marcellus, that's a big name. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's a big name. Now, how, where did you get to know him? Well, first time, I think it was a couple years back uh, during one of the Jazz Lives uh, concerts. Uh, he played with the great uh, Joey Calderazzo uh, as a duo. Mm -hmm. And then later that night we had a jam going on and 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 i ended up uh playing with him there he came and joined us where where are you where is this event next friday it's at colonel hall where's that lovely colonel hall it's uh right on bloor uh right beside royal conservatory yeah, varsity stadium there. okay yeah. all, right. all right great stuff so uh you're going to play something for us right here that's you're just going to improvise. You yeah, you yeah, I'm already in the groove. Well, <laughs> well, we've decided the three of us were going to call this the garlic sweet. The garlic okay. sweet, yes. In honor of the garlic <laughs> that we consume. I love it. Okay, here's Robbie's <laughs> Yes. Yes. I try. Big difference. I'll ask you this, this, this question. Uh, you know, I mean. Uh, Sound, feel. For sure, big ahead. difference. No, no question about it. That's a great sounding. Uh, um, yes, it's it's yeah, one of the yeah. one of the you know good ones for yeah. sure. Yeah. Now, what you played there, that was just total Im improvisation. Most of it, yeah. Most then I and I, you know, like sometimes I have certain things in my head for days, so I don't call right. that. Uh, you know, improv, but right. most of it was. Now, if you sat down tonight, uh, in, you know, in six hours from now, and I asked you to play the exact same thing, how close would it be? I'm not sure. It's hard to no, say. Not very close. Not no, very when you've written something that's really, when you play something that's mm -hmm. really great like that, and you think to yourself, you know, I really should put this down on paper because that sounded really. Yeah, good to that's me. what. See what happens usually. Like the best best things happen when you when you do improvise, mm -hmm. and then like I love recording everything I do because I I would take out a part from it, and then put that down as a as a new tune or something. Right. You know? And when you write music, do you ever take uh, something that you've written or a piece of one song and then use it into another song, say, three years you know, later? Exactly. Sometimes it happens. Because you yeah. know they talk about uh, Aaron Sorkin, the man who wrote uh, uh, West Wing and, and a number of great films, and he's mm -hmm. got the, the, what is it called, the newsroom, this new television show. Right. And somebody said, well, they, they saw something, and they said, wait a minute, that dialogue there, 
you used the exact same dialogue in this film three uh -huh. years before. And he says, well, you can't really, you can't really call someone a plagiarist if they steal from themselves. But it's something that he wrote that had such a nice flow to it that he decided he'd use it later yeah. on. And I guess you can do the same thing with, with music. Yes, I mean, it's coming from the same person. So sure, I guess, you know, sure. it's, like, ta if, it's if, like talking, you know, we never have the same exact same conversation, but no. we do use some of the same. Sure. So the same well, I do pretty much every day. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> I think we should also re uh, remember that Robbie won the big prize at the Montreal Jazz Festival this summer, the grand prize. What was the grand prize? The grand prize incl had we we ma got some money, of course, so we're all very rich now. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the the and and we had studio time, uh, so so that's exciting. I I got fifty hours in a studio in wow. in, in Montreal, which is probably like what five records. <laughs> for, for us, it would be five records. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. It only takes ten hours. A yeah. Day. So you know the. Hopefully, uh, you know we we're working on on, on what the next step. Do you have uh, any uh, record CDs uh, currently? Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Which I have which, a like a like a latest one. Yeah, the the latest one I have is uh, under my own name is is Place to Place, which is uh, is a trio CD, so with mostly original compositions. So treasure roots the music. Some of yeah, a lot of a lot of the stuff on it. You know, it's it's uh, sometimes I have a hard time. Uh, because because I I do love all kinds of music and I and I love that my my roots the Hungarian Romani elements but I you know of course I love jazz and I love R and B and I love funk and I love all kinds of music so sometimes I just mix them up and mm -hmm. see what happens yeah. you know and I'd love to talk to you about, about uh, your your roots in Hungary unfortunately we're we're pretty much like thirty seconds away from uh, going in, into the news. Promise me you'll come back. I will come back and let's talk more about it I, for I, sure. I do want to do that. I want to talk more about it, and I, I want to, and I want the garlic sweet uh, <laughs> sequel. <laughs> we need a, the whole garlic festival too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Robbie Botas is appearing uh, next Friday along with uh, Brantford Marcellus uh, at uh, October twelfth at Quarter Colonel Hall. Hall. Yeah. There you go. You want to play a few? Was just into the news here. Yes. Seconds yes, or? for sure. Go nuts. <laughs> of stuff girls say. It's not really stuff, but I can't say the other word. Two o'clock.